triangle of vectors. This part contains three subdivisions. So, first one is statement. Statement of triangle of vectors. What is statement? I will tell you statement. Then you have to give diagram. And the next one is explanation to diagram. So, statement they will give one and a half mark, diagram half mark, explanation one mark, totally three marks. First, I will explain the statement, then I will draw the diagram, then I will give explanation for a diagram. So, in the previous class we have seen addition of vectors. So, on the basis of this principle only we are going to draw the triangle of vectors also. So, uh, now I am going to say a statement. If two vectors are represented in magnitude and direction and then the resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order. This is a statement. If two vectors are represented by the two sides of a triangle, suppose it is triangle, it is triangle, you know triangle. So, I am taking vector A and another vector B. If two vectors that means A and B are represented by two sides of a triangle taken in order, it goes in order, one direction. Then their resultant that means the resultant of A and B is represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order. These are all anti-clockwise, the resultant is in the clockwise. So, this is called resultant that means A plus B. So, once again I am explaining what is the statement. If two vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a triangle taken in order, then their resultant is represented in magnitude and by direction by the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order. So, the same thing you are going to understand with the help of diagram. In a statement what you are saying two vectors A and B are two vectors. They are represent by two, represented by two sides of a triangle A B. Their resultant is represented, resultant means net value. So, the net value of A and B is represented by third side of the triangle taken in reverse order. The A and B are in one order and the resultant is in the reverse order. So, explanation what you are going to write, suppose if you are giving the name for this triangle P Q R, the vector P Q represents A vector, the vector Q R represents B vector and the vector P R represents resultant vector R. That means it is A plus B. So, if the sides of the triangle P Q and Q R, two sides of the triangle P Q and Q R are represented in one order and their resultant is represented by the triangle, by the tri third side of the triangle that is P R. P R is called as resultant. So, the from the diagram what you have learnt, what you have understood in the diagram that you have to give the explanation. So, statement, diagram, explanation. So, this question contains three parts. You have to write the statement without any mistake and diagram. You can give any name. I have given PQR. You have. You can also give the name ABC. Uh, here I have given the vectors A and B. You can give the name of the vectors P and Q also. So, whatever may be the name of the vectors that you should take in the explanation. What you are writing in the diagram, the same letters should be used in the explanation. 
okay so now we have led triangle of rectus so finally once again i am saying the statement please listen carefully if two vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a triangle taken in order then their resultant is represented in magnitude and direction by the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order here in the statement in magnitude direction we are saying in two places why we are adding the word in magnitude direction because whenever we represent a vector we should say in magnitude direction because a vector ha have both magnitude and direction it has both magnitude and direction so we should mention whenever you mention the vectors you have to add the word in magnitude direction that is why in the statement we are telling magnitude direction when you say about the resultant also you are telling in magnitude direction because resultant is also a vector that is why we are adding the word in magnitude direction so now the triangle of vectors comes to an end thank you